that daily struggle that we all struggle with, you, me, most of the people around us, is to stay in good shape, or if you've managed to put on a few kilos, how you get back to your fighting prime. And I've taken Dr. Peter Atiyah's framework around this because I think it's really a great way of thinking about the tools that we have at our disposal and the biology of, of those tools. So Atiyah talks about the levers and he talks about pulling three levers. The first lever always, the second lever often, and all three levers sometimes. What does he mean by the levers? What are the levers? Well in the following order the levers are this. Lever one, what we eat. So it's crucial the type of food that we put in our mouth affects our biology deeply. The refined and processed carbohydrates, sugar and alcohol, adversely affect our insulin, our glucagon and probably our leptin as well. All hormones are involved in energy metabolism and satiety. If you're eating ultra processed food, that's the opposite of food that's low in human interference, the sort of food that we should be eating is that stuff that's been running around and growing in nature recently, then if there's carbohydrate in that food, it's in cells. And as soon as you start to process that food, it becomes acellular carbohydrates. And they go in, in the upper small intestine, a whole different route into the body. And the problem with that is it bangs up your blood sugars, it bangs up the hormone insulin, but it also bangs up the hormone glucagon. And glucagon's got a double problem. It's telling not only you're eating sugar, but your liver is now getting the signaling from your pancreas to start producing sugar itself. So you've got a double problem. Highly processed, sugary foods and alcohol cause this problem. So what we eat, level one, pull that almost all the time if you can. The second lever is not what we eat, but when we eat. Because even if your diet is fabulous and you're snacking and grazing the whole day, you're never going to reset those hormones back to their baseline. You're never going to reach glucose and insulin homeostasis. So beginner trick, stop snacking. Uh, and that's one of my levers. I need to stop snacking after dinner. Dinner's ceased over, kaput, finished. I brush my teeth. That, that's a signal to me to stop eating at that point. Uh, the advanced version of that is compressing the eating window down, giving your body a whole lot of time during the day to reset itself. And so we talk about the 16 and 8 eating window, 16 hours without food and allowing yourself to eat over those 8 hours, or a more advanced version, the 20 and 4, the 23 and 1, or you might even choose, choose sometimes to go for some longer fasts. So that intermittent fasting allows those hormones to reset themselves. That's lever two. Lever one, what we eat, off the ultra-processed food and the sugar. Lever two, when we eat, allow the body to reset. But even then, you might need to sometimes pull lever three, which is how much we eat. Now the whole point is of these first two levers that now you're allowing your brain to see the signals of full. You've had enough, mate. Stop eating. But there is a manual override. You're a human. You can override this and carry on. Uh, I've proven you can do that. Plenty of other people can do that. I'm sure you can do this as well. So calories do matter. And we may need to put some behavioral rules around ourselves, like smaller plates, one helping, no desserts, uh, snacks out when you feel like them. And that brings down the total number of calories. Uh, the, a lot of people in the nutrition communities think that calories don't matter as much as, as eating whole unprocessed food, and that might be true, but they still count, and we've got to do something about it. So those are the three levers. What we eat, pull it a lot. When we eat, pull it sometimes. And how much we eat, if you have to pull that one as well, go for it. And that is a bit of a biology on how to stay in shape. And if you're out of shape, how to get back into shape. Start using those levers always, sometimes, and sometimes the other ones. All right, catch you later.